here's an ion engine. Remember in Star Wars, the TIE Fighters, TIE twin ion engine. You're going to see a real one. So what does this part of the center do? So basically, you know how they work? We're injecting the gas from those orifices there. Oh, okay. okay? Yep. And this is a cathode and it emits, it emits electrons. So right. by collision of these electrons with the neutral gas, you're ionizing it and creating a lot of charged particles, positively charged. Okay. And we're also creating an electric field through this is the cathode, this is the anode. So okay. we're, we're having a sort of radial and actual electric field. And the actual part is what is going to push the ions out of the engine. So that's how it works. Right, because the gas is thrusting out this way. Exactly. We are accelerating the ions, only the positive particles out of, of the thruster. But, 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 but it's can, basically... This is the cathode, uh, this the, thing, this protruding. The cathode is uh, negative? Or? Negative. The cathode is negative. Oh, okay. But, but, but I thought uh, Benjamin Franklin was wrong and, and that the electrons, electrons are actually emitted from the positive side. <laughs> no, the electrons are emitted from the negative side. Oh, okay. And cool. they, but they travel towards the positive side. Okay, cool. And, uh, what's so, the other side of the tube? Sorry? Uh, although that's just the mount. No, yeah, this is the, just the mount. Oh, this okay. is not one of the nicest ones. This one I cannot hold because they're cleaned up because we're actually studying them right now, but oh. those are the nice ones. Oh, wow. Very cool. And then we have other other propulsion systems. This one's here. It's also that's a potential. Yep. Oh my goodness. So here we have a blow up picture of it. Oh okay. Cool. And um, basically, the idea on this one is we're putting a film of ionic liquid on top. So ionic liquids have diluted ions on it, and we create a potential difference that is able to extract those ions from those from that liquid. Oh, oh, okay. And so this grid goes on top of this array. Yep. And because we have this needle-like configuration, we have a very strong electric field there yeah. that it's able to extract those ions. Cool. They're coming out of. That's just the size. Great. And that, 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 that those can't give too much thrust. Can exactly. They? Right. That's the electro propulsion. It's low, very low thrust. Here we are speaking of micro Right. And, and now is that copper mesh just to uh, uh, protect any cell phones and stuff we might have while yeah, it's running? Copper mesh. Yeah. Yeah. This is actually a different experiment. This is called a paradigm cage. Yeah. So we use them to not to have electromagnetic radiation coming out of the room. So it traps right. all the radiation inside. And cool. it doesn't interfere with other equipment. Cool. The, the, that would work with things like, uh, say, a Tesla coil or, or, or other places where high voltages and high frequencies yeah, and here are involved? Yeah, we're creating a, a specific discharge, which is very, very rapid. It's not a second duration. Wow. Okay. We're trying to study the basic um, ionized gas physics on this type of discharge. But because we have this very rapid pulse, it creates a lot of electromagnetic interference that actually even interfered with